what is this? Casio MT240. Doesn't have a power supply, so we're gonna try batteries. Lois and Leo contributed this, which is really nice. Oh! It works! bad start. So this is the information from the historian. I'm hoping I can find out why there's weird symbols and weird writing on the walls and I could learn something about this property. Uh, what? This is like... Okay, I'm bleeding on this. Dude. So creeped out right now. John Doolittle. Okay, that's enough. I'm going. These are interesting. These used to be to talk between different buildings on the farm, like the boathouse and the main house, the barn, um, from Radio Shack, but they can be repurposed as talkbacks. So, when someone's in this room, I don't know what this room is going to turn into, but when someone's tracking in this room and it's closed off, they can talk to the engineer here. So that'll be a lot of fun. John Doolittle was born in 1836. At age 25, he fought in the Civil War. After the war, he boarded at the home of Tuttle. Rufus Fargo on September 20th, 1865. She was 25. Wait. There was once a man named Henry Fargo. He was the richest man around, and he built a big old house on Brewer Pond. He thought it would be a good idea to hire this guy to be the caretaker and watch over the land and his daughters when he wasn't around. His name was John Doolittle. Let's see if it'll talk to the one upstairs. Uh, that's weird. Whoa! Holy shit. This looks legit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, what else is down here? That's, that's what I love about this bar. What else? Okay, so in this bag is the most awesome, epic thing I found in this entire bar. John Doolittle lived in the barn. John Doolittle fell in love with Henry Fargo's daughter, Mariette Fargo. He loved Mariette so much, but Henry said, No, you cannot marry my daughter. So then, Henry died mysteriously by falling off his carriage. That's when John Doolittle, little John Doolittle, put on this suit and married Mariette Fargo. The Super 8 camera, I opened it up. The battery exploded on the inside. This was all destroyed and I cleaned it out. I don't think it works right now, so that's another project. But in the bag, I found film that has not yet been developed. I asked my dad, he has no idea where this came from. So I'm gonna develop this film and find out whose camera this was and what they shot on here, because that would be. When he married Mariette, that meant he would get all the land. 
But then, John went insane and murdered Mariette in the barn. That's the end. <laughs> I don't believe in that crap. Holy fuck. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, you don't know. You're not a historian. <laughs>